Okay, taking a look at uh, page three. You had to do some factoring here. The numerator is just the greatest common factor. The denominator is factoring by grouping. So you factor out an x squared and a negative four. And then you get x squared minus four times x minus one. That's the difference of two perfect squares. You can simplify it to x plus two x minus two times x minus one. You do have a common factor of x minus one you simplify out leaving you with a simplified function of 5 divided by x plus 2x minus 2, excuse me. Deleted point, set that common factor equal to 0 and solve. You get x equals 1. Then you're going to substitute that into the simplified function. Doing some work, you get y equals negative 5 thirds. So your deleted point is 1, negative 5 thirds. For your x-intercepts, you're going to substitute in y as 0. When you do that and you solve into the simplified function, you're going to get 5 equals 0. Well, that's never true, so this has no x-intercepts. Y-intercepts are going to set x equal to 0 in the simplified function. You do a little work, you get negative 5 fourths. So you have a y-intercept of 0, negative 5 fourths. Vertical asymptotes set the simplified denominators equal to zero. Not all three, just the simplified function. So x plus two, x minus two, set those equal to zero and solve, you're gonna get negative two and positive two. Horizontal asymptote, you're gonna go back to the original function. The degree of the numerator is one. The degree of the denominator is three. So the degree of the denominator is higher. That means you're gonna have a horizontal asymptote at x, I'm sorry, y equals 0, which is the x-axis. Oblique, there's none or slant because the degree of the numerator is less than the denominator. <coughs> Number 7, does it cross? So y equals 0, that was the horizontal asymptote, plug that in for y. Solve for x. When you do, you get 0 equals 5. That never happens, so no crossing of the asymptote. And for your domain, you're going to set the entire denominator equal to 0 and solve. So even including that shared factor. So this is all real numbers except negative 2, positive 2, and positive 1, which you'll see written there. When you plug this into your calculator, you're going to notice a few things. Um, this graph has three sections to it. Make sure you clear this out. Alpha y equals, and do you plug this into your calculators. Uh, I'm going to go back to Zoom 6. That's just the standard window. And I can see the three pieces of this rational function pretty well as far as what's happening as it comes up to these vertical asymptotes, and this horizontal asymptote. So things that I'm looking for, your deleted point, 1 comma negative 5 thirds, that's 1 and negative 1 1.6 repeating. So that's this point. It's an open circle. Your y-intercept was 0 comma negative 5 fourths or negative 1.25. There are no x-intercepts. This should be a clean, crisp graph where it's... The graph is getting closer and closer to these asymptotes, but not crossing. Going over question three on page four, you're going to start by factoring. Always looking for greatest common factor first, so you factor out a two from the numerator. Then you're left with a trinomial, numbers that add to negative seven, multiply to 12. That's x minus four and x minus three. Denominator just has greatest common factor of x. Then you have a common factor of x minus 3. So your simplified function is just 2 times x minus 4 divided by x. So deleted point, set that common factor equal to 0. Solve, x is 3. Plug that in to the simplified function for x. You get y is negative 2 thirds. So 3, negative 2 thirds, that's your deleted point. X-intercepts, 
set y equal to 0 for your simplified function. You're going to do a little work here. You get x equals 4. If you want, you can distribute the 2, add the 8, and divide by 2. You're going to get the same thing. For the y-intercepts, you're going to set x equal to 0. You get negative 8 divided by 0. That's undefined, so you don't have any y-intercepts. I think I just misspoke. No y-intercepts. Vertical asymptotes. Set the simplified denominator equal to 0 and solve. So x equals 0. Horizontal asymptotes. Go back to the original function. The degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. So you're going to divide those leading coefficients, 2 divided by 1. Your vertical asymptote, your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 2. Therefore, there's no slant asymptote. You cannot have a horizontal and a slant asymptote at the same time. Crossing the horizontal asymptote, does that happen? It does not. If you set y to be 2 from the horizontal asymptote to your simplified function, you're going to end up getting 0 equals negative 8. That does not ever occur. No crossing. And then for your domain, you're going to get x equals 0 and x equals 3 as the numbers that make the function undefined. So you're going to be looking at all real numbers except 0 and 3. As far as the graph goes, you have one x-intercept, 4, 0. That needs to be plotted. You have a deleted point at 3, comma, negative 0.6 repeating. That needs to be an open circle. Graph your asymptotes, the y-axis, which is x equals 0, and y equals 2. I used my calculator to come up with the behavior as the graph approaches those asymptotes. All right, that's a recap of page 3 and 4.